In this video we're going to take a look at something called the surface tension. And the surface tension is by definition the elastic sheet-like property. The surface of a liquid becomes like a solid sheet at the surface of the liquid caused by the intermolecular forces. So what happens is at the surface of a liquid we see that every molecule will be attracted to every other molecule because of polar properties or because of the ionic properties, whatever it may be. And you can see that the forces cause the molecules to be attracted to each other, but there's nothing above the molecules here, above the surface, for the molecules to be attracted. Inside the liquid, the molecules are attracted in all directions, but that's not the case near the surface. So if we imagine these to be the molecules at the surface, and you push down on the molecules, what happens is you get kind of like a solid sheet-like property, almost like a hanging cable-like property, where the forces that cause these molecules to be attracted to each other, prevent the object to break through the surface. Of course, as long as you don't push too hard, if you push hard enough, you'll actually will break to the surface. If you push hard enough, and the chain will eventually break. But if you don't push too hard, you actually will make an indentation in, this, in the surface of the liquid without actually breaking through the, the, the uh, forces of the water molecules holding, them, holding each other together like that. So the intermolecular attraction between the same water molecules is called cohesion. It's the cohesion of the water molecules. The forces between the molecules is called cohesion. And so what happens then is when the um, when you look at the side of the beaker, what you can then sometimes have is a meniscus like that. And those of you that work in chemistry labs and you're supposed to measure the volume of liquid inside a beaker or inside a uh, a, uh, a graduated cylinder, you will find that at the very edge you'll have kind of a little lip like that where the liquid seems to go up. So what happens there is there's actually forces between the materials of the baker uh, or the container that water is in and the water molecules. And in some cases the attraction to the side is greater than the attraction between the molecules themselves. So here we have something that's called adhesion. Adhesion is the attraction between other molecules like the molecules in the wall of the container and the water molecules and so if the adhesion forces are greater than the cohesion forces you'll see the liquid beating up to the side of the container and that happens when you have water if on the other hand the adhesion forces are smaller than the cohesion forces if the force between the liquid and the wall is less than the forces between the liquid molecules then you can see the liquid kind of beating away from it and that will happen in the case of mercury so what we then need to fi figure out is for example if you have uh, water in a beaker and the water has a meniscus like this we should be able to measure this angle sometimes the angle is less than zero degrees Sometimes the meniscus goes right up to the wall of the, of the container, sometimes it doesn't, and we can measure that, that angle. And in the next video, we can actually show you how to calculate the force caused by the uh, surface tension in the liquid. So, simple now, we have the, uh, as a summary, we have the forces between the molecules in such a way that when you push down on it, the, if the forces are strong enough to withstand the force pushing down on the molecules, they will stay intact like that and form like a solid sheet of material it's called the surface of the liquid where you cannot break through. There are some insects that take advantage of that can actually walk on water because their feet will not push down through the surface because the forces between the molecules are strong enough to hold up the weight of the insect. So if you want to know more about it, take a look at the next video and I'll show you how to actually calculate the forces involved with surface tension.